To the Manchester workmen, my good friends, do not believe that in addressing you I am not moved by the most sincere and heartfelt interest in your distress. I can too well conceive how much you have of late had to struggle against to keep yourselves, your wives and families from the very extremity of suffering. But let me beg you to reflect on the absurd method that you've been persuaded to adopt for your relief. You have been advised to set off by thousands to walk to London in order to present your petitions to the Prince Regent. Now, my good friends, let me first tell you how and by whom and for what purposes this foolish notion has been put into your heads. You are not aware who it is that is making fools of you. It was Cobbett. It was he who first proposed a scheme which he knew must turn all those who listen to it into vagabonds or rioters. Whether you may be starved to death on the road or taken up and hanged, he does not care. He would only call you silly and misguided people for your pains. But his end would have been answered. He would have made you dance to his fiddle and pay him for the music too though it was leading you to the gallows here and to eternal torment hereafter. For, my friends, this greedy, grasping wretch, after having written for the rich against the poor till no respectable person would read his writing any longer, is now trying to squeeze the last farthing out of the pockets of the poor by writing against the rich.